Welcome to Chopstick Travel. We're Luke and Sabrina, and today we are in Catania, in the eastern part of Sicily here in Italy. And in this episode, we're going to be exploring this city, tasting all of the unique foods you can try here in Catania, exploring the markets, and checking out the historical sites. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go check out the famous Catania fish market first thing today. <laughs> So this is the Catania fish market. It's a sprawling morning market with all kinds of fresh seafood. We are on the island of Sicily, so there's an abundance of seafood, all different types and varieties of fish, shellfish, octopus, everything, stingray, you name it, it's here. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. We're definitely gonna be eating some seafood today, but we just wanted to check this out while it's still lively in the morning. Right at the entrance to the fish market, there's this really beautiful fountain. And although it definitely doesn't smell very good in there, we did build up an appetite for seafood. So I think we're gonna grab some seafood now. So there's this really cool little shop right outside the fish market called the Sicilian Fish Lab, and they serve fried fish in a cone. Well, it's kind of spilling out of the cone onto the plate. So we've got a couple different types of seafood here. There's anchovies, there's cuttlefish, there's squid, and the catch of the day. And of course, you've gotta put a little bit of lemon, or a lot of lemon, on top of that. And this, I can tell, is freshly fried because it is seriously hot. Oh, I even see some shrimp underneath there. Maybe I'll go for a shrimp first. Mm. Just very thin batter. There's definitely some spices in there too because it's got quite a bit of flavor. And that tastes like some seriously fresh shrimp. And look at these little guys here. It looks like a full, I think that's a little squid. Mm. It's a little bit chewy. Yum. That is so fresh and fried perfectly, only a thin batter. This is a great way to start our day after visiting that incredible fish market. Looks like maybe uh, some kind of a fish, maybe swordfish. Oh man, yum. That's a meaty one. Gotta chase it down with some Sicilian sparkling wine. Oh yeah, everything is super good and we just went back and asked for some extra lemon. I have to say the calamari is definitely my favorite. It is seriously fresh and just so good with the lemon juice. Mm, simple, crunchy. That was some really delicious fried seafood. It's usually a hit or miss with the deep fried seafood. It can be really oily or it can be like it is today and seasoned perfectly and just a thin batter and not very oily. And you can see this is the fish market right here and then this is the restaurant right here. So you can just imagine how fresh that seafood is. So let's go check out the square here in Catania. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right in the center of the square here in Catania is this fountain that has an oddly out of place elephant on the top. And to be honest, I actually have no idea why there's an elephant. So maybe if you know, let me know down in the comments. Do you know why there's an elephant on top? <laughs> yeah, I do. Why? Well, actually, elephants originated here in Sicily and they actually used to roam wild in Catania specifically. So in this particular square you'd actually see tons of elephants long is that ago. an african elephant or an indian elephant i don't know the sicilian elephant oh, the sicilian they're elephant. extinct now unfortunately and that's why this uh, is here to commem commemorate them yes <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the square you have the elephant fountain and on one side you have the fish market and on the other side you have the cathedral of catania which unfortunately is not open right now but it's still really beautiful to look at from the outside. And one thing you'll definitely notice, and we noticed right away here in Catania, is that there's a lot of this black sand or dust everywhere. You'll see the guys um, using the leaf blower to blow it away, and it's volcanic sand from Mount Etna, an active volcano just on the outskirts of Catania, so pretty cool. We are at a place called Savia Pisticceria, and this place has been around since 1897. It's ancient, and it has tons of different Sicilian foods and treats, and we just ordered a couple now. We're waiting for them to come, and we'll introduce them to you. My order has arrived, and check this out. This is the arancino. That's what they call it here in Catania, which is a little bit different, and the shape is a little bit different as well. As you can see, it's not round. It's like a pointy volcano, kind of like Mount Etna. I think that's why they have it shaped like this. I've also got the uh, shakerado. So it's just an espresso uh, shaken up with ice. So that looks really good, but I gotta go in for a bite here. Right at the top. I think it's gonna be good. Whoa. That is hot. <laughs> is about as hot as it comes. It's fresh out of the fryer. It's nice and crunchy on the outside. Inside, it's a nice ragu flavor. And those grains of rice are really huge. This is a hearty snack. Let's see if I can get some cheese. Mm. No cheese, but that is very filling. It's a hot day here in Catania, so a hot coffee will just not do. They've gotten sweetened really nicely. The foam on top is nice. Mm, it's ice cold too. Ragu and cheese is not the only variety that you can get of arancini here. They have tons of different ones. Pistachio, butter, cheese, uh, spinach, and just check this out. <laughs> Look how much cheese is inside. Oh. Wow. Okay, one more bite. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> no, that's cheesy. So this is our dessert. We've got two of the most typical Sicilian treats. The first being the cannolo. This one is with pistachio and topped with a ton of powdered sugar stuffed with that beautiful, beautiful ricotta cheese. And that is huge. And then over here is probably the second most famous Sicilian sweet. And this is uh, called cassata, but this one here is called cassatella. So it's a mini version of the cassata. It's a sponge cake that's been soaked in either fruit juice or liqueur and then it's also stuffed with ricotta and I've actually never tried this and there's a candied cherry on top. I'm gonna cut it open so we can take a look inside and uh, see what's going on. Oh wow, it's green on the inside. I wasn't expecting that. Look at that. Oh wow, there's a ton of ricotta in there. 
Oh man, it's really delicate. You gotta be careful. Sponge cake, that's been soaked. So let me try to get a nice piece here and try it out. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is super sweet. Super, super sweet. There's a faint hint of alcohol in there. And then the ricotta is so smooth and buttery. But that is extremely, extremely sweet. It's got that kind of uh, icing on the outside, that glaze. And I'm not exactly sure what the green is. I'm thinking it's probably just a like a food coloring. You can see the cross section here. There is a ton of ricotta in there. But let me try now the canola. Man, that thing is seriously, seriously sweet. So canola. It's got this nice crusty pastry on the outside, pistachios, and stuff with the ricotta again. Mmm. Mmm. That was much more my style. Definitely toned down in the sweetness. You get that nutty pistachio. Super, super crunchy outside. And the texture of that ricotta is so silky, buttery smooth. It's heavenly. Wow, that arancini and those Sicilian sweets were absolutely delicious. We had a great time at that cafe. Now it's mid-afternoon, the heat's sort of dissipating, so we're gonna walk around the city, uh, enjoy what it has to offer. And one thing that we love about Italy is that there are tons of different churches you can explore. They're all free to enter. We're heading into one now. This is the Church of San Francesco. It's right behind me, right in the city center. Let's go check it out. I definitely recommend checking out some of these churches here in Sicily. They're super cool. That was really quiet. There was absolutely nobody in there. What a contrast from the places in Rome. But we are still hungry and we are heading out for dinner now to have some really unique Sicilian specialties. So we're at a really popular trattoria tonight and we've ordered up a couple of typical Sicilian dishes and one of them that I've been waiting to try is this. This is caponata, so it's sauteed eggplant, which is one of the most famous uh, ingredients in all of Sicily. And then it's sauteed with uh, green peppers. It looks like there's some peas and um, I'm just gonna go in for a big scoop of everything. It looks quite oily, but let's try it. Mm. So that is served chilled and that eggplant is ridiculously soft. You get a nice sweetness from the bell pepper in there and that wasn't peas, it was actually capers in there. So that gives a nice sourness as well. A really famous dish of Sicily and I could see why because that eggplant is just such high quality soft eggplant. And we've got our second dish over here and uh, leave a comment down below right now if you could guess what this is. Yes, it looks like a steak, but it's not beef. It's actually horse. So horse meat is very popular here in Catania. It's a specialty of Catania. We ordered ours medium rare. Oh, it's actually really, really soft and it's swimming in a little bit of olive oil. It looks like there's some herbs on top too. And this is definitely going to be my first time trying horse. So let's give it a try. Yum. So the first thing I noticed about that is it's covered in quite a bit of vinegar. I'm not sure if they're doing that to kind of mask some of the horsey flavor, but honestly, there isn't much at all. It just tastes like a really nice uh, tenderloin beef steak, and it's uh, slightly seasoned with some herbs, maybe some oregano, I think, and maybe a little bit of salt, but it's really just natural flavor. I can't really tell the difference between beef and a horse. Um, yeah, it tastes just like beef. I really can't find anything that tastes different other than they've covered it in quite a bit of vinegar, which is quite unique. Look at that. You, you wouldn't be able to know if you uh, just kind of had this served to you at the table. I'd, I definitely think it was just gonna be beef. 
Yum, great. The horse is cooked perfectly medium rare and it's ridiculously tender. Honestly, I am really surprised at how delicious it is. I would order this over the beef steak, honestly. It's cooked perfectly and it's only eight euros, so really good value. The vinegar is a good addition. So the last dish we've ordered is the mussels and I saw these at the fish market this morning and I instantly knew that I had to order some today. They're super fresh looking and um, I think they're yeah boiled maybe with some white wine and I'll put a little bit of lemon juice on top. It looks like there's some maybe parsley as well on top. Grab this guy. Oh, try that out. Oh, if I can get him. There we go. Yeah. Oh. This place is great, super fresh, super affordable. The prices here are amazing. Everything's really cheap and delicious. These mussels are awesome, but I have to give it up for the horse. I kind of feel a little bit bad for liking horse so much, but it is ridiculously delicious and so, so tender. This place really knows how to do it well, and this is a Catanian specialty, so definitely consider trying it out when you visit Catania. That was some really good food. I definitely recommend you to try the horse steak when you come here to Catania. And I will say that the food here in Catania uh, versus Palermo has been more delicious. Mm -hmm. But the sights, I will say, were not as extravagant as in Palermo. So definitely consider visiting both on your trip to Sicily. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post our next video. And what was your favorite thing that we tried today, Sabrina? Ooh, I have to say that the horse steak was the best thing that we tried today. It was definitely the most unique, never had horse before, and uh, turned out to be really good. What about you? It was super, super yeah. tender. That horse steak was great, but I gotta give it up for the cannoli. <laughs> they were so good, yeah. and uh, that's a must-have, most <laughs> typical Siciliana dish to try when you visit Sicily. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Chopstick Travel from Italy soon. Bye. Bye.